Asian students. First, we have to say that it is good to see you guys coming to Japan to enjoy your university life. Don't you think Japan is a beautiful and peaceful country? I hope that APU can bring you the best memories. Well, let me get it straight. 1,500 earthquakes hit Japan every year, and the two latest strong earthquakes hit Kumamoto Prefecture, which is about 90 kilometers from APU. Will you do something to deal with the earthquakes, or just let your destiny be? Don't worry, if you are well prepared for the situation, you can significantly reduce the risk of facing dangers during an earthquake. Before preparing for one, we should have a look at what causes earthquakes here. In April of 2016, a series of earthquakes hit Kumamoto and the largest two had a magnitude of 6.2 and 7.0. It killed at least 49 people, injured about 3,000 others, and caused a lot of damages to Kumamoto and Oita Prefecture. The reason why it occurred is because Kumamoto lies at the southern end of the Japan Median Tectonic Line, where it is easily broken into two directions at the Beppu Haneyama Fault Zone. Like this image of a farmland in Mashiki, Kumamoto Prefecture, you can clearly see the line between the slices after the earthquake occurred. To make it simple to understand, imagine a pizza divided into eight slices and covered in cheese. The pizza looks like it's in one piece, but when you slightly pull an edge out of the pizza, it easily breaks into a slice. Living near the fault zone means that the chance of you experiencing an earthquake in Beppu is so big that being prepared for it is a must for you to live here safely. Okay, here is the question. What should you do when an earthquake happens? Run away? Well, you cannot just escape immediately like that due to the danger you might face during an earthquake. Watch out. So, what should I do? If you are still not clear about what to do, these are my recommendations. First, protect your hat with a helmet or cushion or hide under the table until the earthquake stops. Second, Extinguish nearby flames like from stoves and candles, but you should wait for the earthquake to subside, then turn them off. Third, make an escape route by opening your door. This will prevent you from being trapped. Fourth, prepare a flashlight and shoes near your bed to protect your feet from broken glass and sharp objects, and to escape easily at night. Then, stay calm. Listen to accurate information from a TV or radio, because all the unreliable sources of info will make you confused in this kind of situation. Finally, take important items before escaping. Important things are food, water, your passport, emergency radio, mobile phone, and your wallet. Make sure you don't pack too heavily. When you're in high buildings, never use the elevators to escape, since you might trap yourself. Use stairs instead and leave the building as soon as possible. When you're near the ocean, move to a higher place, head to the nearest shelters for your safety and keep listening to tsunami information. By the way, don't ever think about watching tsunamis. They are not gorgeous to look at. You should stay safe in a shelter or refugee area. Never go home until you receive safety confirmation from the city government. Besides all of the above informations we provided, since you are in Japan, it is good to get used to some of the important kanji relevant to earthquakes. Keiho means alert. The kanji looks like people sending warning messages using a lot of speakers.
Hinanjo is the shelter or refugee area. You can picture many volunteers supporting you with food inside a tent. Jisheng means earthquake. The kanji shows the image of a heavy rain and land breaking into pieces. Tsunami means a tidal wave. You might imagine a strong wave rolling a tree and a big wave taller than a giraffe. Earthquake is a typical natural disaster that you may face in Japan. However, if you prepared carefully, you would know how to protect yourself from danger. Not only that, you would be able to follow instruction from the volunteers since you would understand earthquake-related vocabularies. If you do the right thing, then I believe you can always be safe. Don't you think so? Just do as much as you can until your destiny is revealed. Enjoy, Enjoy your, your APU life! life.